Hey guys, we're going to get to the video in just a second, but before we get started, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia, and we have had a few comments, a few questions. I did a video a while back on the Bosch heat pump system, and I'm going to focus mostly on the 1.0 series, the 18 seer line, mostly because that's what I have the most amount of uh, experience with. I can't speak to the 2.0 at this point. So one of the biggest concerns we get is humidity. Uh, they say, you know, we've gotten multiple comments on our other video and just that's always been a concern for folks because the humidity is staying high in their house. And I have two suggestions that I think will alleviate a lot of those issues. Um, I can't say that it's going to 100% every time work, but I think these two solutions should take care of uh, the humidity issues uh, I'll put it this way, we've put in several of them and I have one in my own house and we don't have humidity issues. So what are the two things that will affect this the most? So the first thing is, let's talk about what's actually going on because air conditioners by default will remove humidity from a space. But what happens is, if you cool the space too fast, so when a system is say oversized for a particular space or home, what can happen is it cools the space so fast that it actually doesn't get time to dehumidify enough. So what's happening is sort of like when you take a turkey out of the oven, turkey stays hot for a while. What's happening is your air conditioner is cooling the space so fast, air's getting cool, you you know, you're feeling a temperature difference, but everything holds heat in that house. The walls, the furniture, you, your pets, all those things hold heat. And so where heat meets cold, things condensate, all that good stuff. So you could have actually bigger issues than just humidity, but obviously high humidity has its own problems alone. So how do we fix that? How do we fix that with the Bosch system knowing that in mind? Well, I think there's two things that you need to do. The first thing is you got to make sure the capacity is set correctly. Bosch only makes two units. So they make a, a unit that can go from ton and a half all the way up to three tons. And then they make a unit that can go from three all the way up to five tons. And the way you program it, the way you set it up, that controls all of that. So the first thing is make sure the capacity is correct. If it's set for five tons and you only need three, that system is oversized at that point. The 1.0 series line, uh, not the 2.0, but the 1.0 series, it don't ramp down. It The indoor coil or the indoor fan motor just can keeps on running. The second thing that can help with this is on the outdoor unit. Now this is something that a professional is going to need to do, need to take a look at uh, your installer. Um, and that is the, the way the Bosch outdoor system works is the, it monitors the temperature or the pressure, the suction pressure coming back from the coil. And it'll ramp up and down based on that. And it has a particular temperature that it's looking for. So it's if, if it sees that it's coming back real hot, it's going to ramp up. If it's coming back real cold, it'll ramp down. And that's how it is an inverter technology. It's not like other communicating systems. Okay. So with that in mind, if you go to the outdoor unit and currently, now during the making of this video, it, it may change in the future, but currently there are four dip switches. There's a bank of dip switches on the outdoor unit board and you want to flip number four on, okay? You got to cycle power, turn power off, flip four on, and then turn your power back on. What you're doing there, just so you know, is you're telling that outdoor unit that you want, to, you want it to ramp up to a cooler coil inside. 
which makes you dehumidify better. So if it's, you know, setting for, you know, the lower temperature, it's going to make a cooler coil and it's going to remove more humidity from the home. Lastly, if none of these things seem to work and, you know, you've even tried to maybe move the capacity down. So like if you thought that the heat low calculation said two tons and then you set it up for a ton and a half, right? So you even kind of undersized it technically for the home and it's still having humidity issues. Definitely look into a dehumidifier. I don't think that, you know, getting crazy and ripping out the system and all of that is, is the answer because, you know, who's to say you won't continue to have that issue uh, with another system. Um, I think the Bosch systems are great. I wouldn't have put one in my own home had I not. They've got, you know, things going for them that nobody else does. So I, I like them, but you just got to know what you're doing and you got to get all these settings correct. So if you have any questions, Put them in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our videos. I'm going to do more videos just like this one. And if you're in our coverage area and you're interested in a Bosch system, give Griffin Air a call. Last thing I'll say, if you're in the market for a new system, whether it's a Bosch or another brand, you got to check out my new website, newhvacguide.com. And I'll put a link to it down in the notes. But basically, this website is set up to help you avoid headaches like humidity issues with the Bosch system. Um, it's set up to guide you through the process of from beginning to end. We're going to talk about uh, things to avoid in the guide. Uh, we're going to talk about how to select a contractor, what to look for, what, what to avoid, selecting a brand, select all that stuff. What, not every system is good for every home. We talk about what systems you should look at. I mean, it's, it's a whole bunch of steps and loaded with all kinds of information, tips, tricks, secrets that manufacturers don't even want you to know. We go through that on the guide. Check it out, newhvacguide.com. Thank you.